Hey guys, how you doing? Good morning. I have a quick little video to show you today. Uh, this is one of our client's websites. We just built it with a free website service. So you can see some of the results. It's a pretty nice looking website, very functional. What I want to show you is a mistake that a lot of people make with WordPress, especially when they have a little bit of experience with uh, building websites, maybe in a different type of uh, platform like direct HTML. So here's the picture for example and the picture as you can tell is blurry but the picture itself if we go to it is nice and sharp so there's no reason for this picture on the front page to be blurry. So what happens is when WordPress creates when when you open up uh, WordPress and you add a picture through the add media button when you add your picture it, WordPress will create a copy of that picture in various sizes and those are available right here. So thumbnail, medium, large and full size. Your website may have different sizes available. Sometimes that's part of the theme, sometimes it's part of a plugin. So what happened here is that somebody tried to add that photo probably with this size and then they tried to make it bigger after the fact just by editing it and that's not going to work because of course you're going to get a blurry picture. When you select one of these sizes there's actually WordPress is going to use that size a version of the photo on that size. It's not going to use the full photo and resize it. So you want to make sure that you use a size that f fits exactly your the space where you want to put it in or it's a, a little bit bigger. Most of the themes that I use and I recommend have a built-in image resizer that allows you to put a picture that's a little bit bigger than the area and then uh, like in this case I'm going to remove this and I'm going to add a photo the way that um, I would recommend that you add it and that would be full size on that particular page because the full size is close to um, close to what size we need there anyway so it's not going to make a big difference but I'm also going to show you how to create new image sizes so that when you upload a photo each version of the picture will have the various sizes images that you can use throughout your blog so if you have a main section on your blog that takes a picture that's 600 by 400 you can create a predeter predetermined size like that so that every time you insert a picture if you want to put the exact size you will have a version of that available so let's look for the image and remove it. First, let's make sure that we go to the... Okay, so it's just going to the picture. So in here, for some reason, see she's using the 300 by 181 image size, but somehow it's being forced to 603 by 362. So that's not really good. What we want here is to change this image to be the full size version of that. Okay, so we're going to go in here, we're going to mouse over it, click on this, and then insert the image again by clicking on Add Media, and we're going to look for that image right here, and see the full size is not the size that we want on the front page. So if we go to the front page right now of this website, See, we want an image that fits this size, and that's about 600 and some. So, uh, first I'm going to show you that even if we put the full image and we just center it, let the link go to where it was and put the full size image and insert it into page, notice in here it looks a little bit bigger. So there's actually a scroll bar. But when we go to look at the home page, the image will be fitted to, f to the right size, and it won't be blurry anymore. So take a look. Let's wait for this to finish. Okay, let's refresh this. Notice the image fits just the same way, but now it's nice and sharp and crispy. So, um, if you run into an issue where your pictures may be blurry, but you have a really nice picture, and nice and sharp, then that may be the reason why. So you want to check it out. Make sure that the size that you're using is not bigger than the photo that you're trying to uh, use for that. And if it is, then change the image to the right size. If you don't have the image that fits that size because it's just not big enough anyway, then I recommend that you put the image to the full size and let the text wrap around it on the left or on the right. 
and um, that should get you very nice and crisp images. Thanks for watching. Bye.